If I got fruits there, I'll beat my fruits and I'm hydrated. Because watermelon you hydrates fruits, bro. So do you drink water? Really and truly, if I'm honest with you, I know it's going to sound a bit extreme, but I like to eat my water. Because that's H3O2. Nah, I, mean, I don't want to get nah. too deep, but you see, I'm just... Show you. Look at that. Don the kebab. <laughs> Chicken wing. Oh, Biryani. Yeah, but anything, I'm saying, how, how many meals would you have a day, in a day? <sighs> Ranges between zero and seven still. Can you not hear us, yeah? Are you like telling me chat, man? Let you put a chat box on there as well. Put a chat get, box. Get it, get it all just cracking on here. Come on, it? G. Let's come get on. everything going Let's on. Let's get a bracket. Let's get, get it all bracket. going on. We've got a special, special guest on stream today. I'm live with the world's healthiest man. It's official. There's come no on. number one, no number two. There's no one even comes close. Show them. Let me just turn it. Show them. Rose is a bit too, a bit too tall. Well, that's a bit of a wide position, but yeah. <laughs> world's, world's healthiest man, chat. <clears throat> chat to us, though, man. What makes you What makes you the world's healthiest man? Because I believe in me. I believe in the I. I am the I. I am the I. The I means me. That is the I. The I. This is a deep meaning. This is what I'm saying. We need to start learning what words really mean. You are your I as well. I am I, my I. I plan to be myself. You can be yourself. You right. can be whatever you want to be. Okay, and you chose to be the I. All right. So what about the Y? Not into the why. I don't do all of that. That's not really my kind of field. Yeah, all yeah, that why yeah, business and all yeah, that. I'm yeah, just on yeah, my yeah. health regime and my fruit and my vegetation of life, innit? So why, why the health is man alive though, man? Me, because the things that I consume from what I eat, what I watch, what I listen to, my practice in my day-to-day -day life, mm. I just always want better for me. For example, I eat only fruit and vegetables. That's my diet. Mm. I train physically every single day. What do you do? I, what do, you do? Uh, I'm on 80 days of straight burpees. I've done 100 burpees. 80 days of straight burpees? 100 burpees, 100 press-ups, and 100 abs every single day. And there's no days off. How many done today? 100, naturally. Done your 400? No, I've done 100 burpees, 100 abs, and 100 press-ups. Every day? Without fail, brother. And you're fasting as well? Alhamdulillah. All right, chat. Bro. Wait, so what, what are you training for? The war? I'm training for life, man. Life's Bro, real. Mean, this is life. This is life. Life we live in is real, man. Look what's going on in the world. Yeah, so what are you training for, though? You I'm training like, for life. Just what's, life itself. So what's going to happen, like, that you need to do 100 burpees? I, I don't even know, but it might come to a time where I have to be strong and physically fit and obviously in this life you gotta be mentally strong man look what's going on in the world that we're living mm, in anything bro. what we're getting going There's nothing you can do that i can't do bro. yeah <laughs> wait chill slow down bro <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro right, give me right, a talk right. give me a talk what we're gonna do is a bare p press up so we're gonna go down up jump we're gonna go down yeah come down then lava <laughs> jump up show you about lava But you don't have Nigerian, this is light work, bro. What country you from? Jamaica, bro. Why are you slowing down? Why are you slowing? Keep up, man. How many you did? Come on, bro. That's not a number, bro. Come on, bro. Right, bro, you're looking tired. You're looking tired, so. <laughs> All right, bro, chill. All right, chill, bro. You're looking tired, so. Come on, let's start on it, Dre, I don't matter if I'm tired. You need a break, you need a break. So. I don't matter if I'm tired. Let's go again. You need a break. Too. Come. Let's raise you my abs and all that. Let's do our abs and all that. Every time. I want your toes, you know. Every time your toes. Of course. Gee, what is this? <laughs> what are we even <laughs> with? What are you bro, talking? What body part is that for? You know like what? Bro, what body part is that for? Bro, bro? It's full body, bro. Anything I do is full body. Calm, bro. Come, come. Take a juice. You deserve a juice for that. Which juice you want? Take which one you want. I had the grape one already. Let me try this one. <coughs> Alright, chat. What are you not telling me though, man? <clears throat> That's a busy knuckle already. Let me recharge with the watermelon. Charge it up, man. Charge it up. Trust me. <sighs> Bismillah. <coughs> Bismillah. Billy's trying to challenge me for two things. Don't, don't do that again, Bill. <laughs> Serious. Nah, what you done? Wow. So how do you make? How do you make these drinks? <clears throat> Simple dealings, bro. I get the black seeded watermelons. Cause they're natural. That's how the most or the most black like seeded. Oil. But I'm gonna show you. Just give me a sec. Yeah. Black seeded watermelons. They're in season right now. They're the natural watermelons. Cause the most high made things seasonal. I juice it, <clears throat> pull it into the bottle, mm. and it comes to you. I mix it with key lime and agave. Mm. Key lime's the natural lime. It has a seed in it. Agave is a natural sweetener. Comes out of a Mexican plant. Mm. And then you get your juice, bro. Mm. So there's no water. There's no sugar. There's no preservatives in there. It's just a righteous product full of H3O2 water. What What made you get into this whole? I know you ain't been like this your whole life. Nah, I ain't been like this my you're whole from, life. You're from Birmingham, bro. There's no way you've been healthy your whole life. What, what are you trying to say about Rome? <laughs> G, 
There's no way you're eating healthy your whole life, though. <laughs> no, nah, I haven't still. I'm not going to lie to you. I just wanted to be the best version of me. Obviously, I lived a certain type of life before and done certain things before. You get me, and I'm not even saying I'm disgusted by that because that turned me into the man that I am today. So I used to live a certain life. I changed my life, and I just wanted to be the best version of myself. And I'm still going. I've got a long way to go, mm. and it's still not good enough now. Mm. And I still got to improve. It was, even right now, you're not good enough. I've got. It's got to improve, bro. What, what's what's got to improve? Everything, my physical, my mental, my spiritual, everything, brother, everything. It's yeah. never going to be good enough until I go to my grave. It can't be good enough because I can always do better. If you look at this, this drink here, this is all natural. Mm -hmm. And this goes off in about five days. If you left that, the bottle will start to expand. You go uh, to a, swear out. The bottle will start to expand because it's a natural drink. But when you go to the shop somewhere like Asda and you buy a, even whatever they call like a orange juice, mm -hmm. they put preservatives in it. And preservatives is used to make something last longer. Whereas my juice doesn't have preservatives, but they do that for profit because they don't care about your health, but I do. So that's why they put preservatives in it. Mm. And preservatives is not for the human body. We're natural human beings created so what, by the creator. So, so how bad are preservatives? <clears throat> They're terrible because you got to think like this. <clears throat> if you're going to preserve something, you're changing the chemical balance of the drink because it's preserved now. Mm. So the natural state of it is no, no longer there anymore mm. because you've preserved it like this. Five days, if five days that will go out of it. But if they were to put a preservatives in it, they can make it last so what, 20, 25. So like, <clears throat> what effect do preservatives actually have on your body? Like, what do they actually do to you? So for, for example, if you see in this day and age that we've got going on, in, and it's not just juices, it's in, it's in your tuna cans, your beans, anything in a supermarket, the so-called supermarket, there's preservatives in pretty much. I won't even want to give you a percentage because I don't like telling lies, but a majority of the shop has preservatives in it. And what it does to the body is it causes diseases. So this is why cancer's on the rise because we're human beings. We're not supposed to have preservatives. Everything's supposed to be natural. The Most High give us farmland and food that comes naturally. Mm. We're supposed to learn these things in school, but in school we get taught foolishness. Mm. So I had to unlearn and then relearn and that's mm. where I am today. I'll be honest with you. So what about your diet though? Like your, your, your diet when you're eating? Oh, eating. Eating is not like when you, say, when, you, when you say breakfast and dinner and all that, it doesn't really mean much to me, bro, because mm. breakfast for me means breakfast. So I wake up in the morning, I break my fast, I have something simple like a grape juice or a fruit or a herb or tea or something simple. Breakfast does not mean, oh, eggs, beans, toast, fish fingers, oh, chicken sausages and all this garbage, because that's crap and garbage. So I don't eat none of that. I just why, why is it crap and garbage? Because well, I just told you, when you wake up, you break your fast. You know, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, word yeah, breakfast yeah, yeah, means breakfast. breakfast. Yeah. So why would you want to fill your system up with all these carbohydrates, all these bloating foods that ain't good for you? Why would you want to do that? That have preservatives in it again. Mm -hmm. Why? Can of beans have sugar in it? Why would we wake up and put sugar in our body? The most high didn't even create sugar. Mm. It's actually glucose that comes from man-made garbage mm. again. Mm. The, all these things they do is narratives, but that's a deeper one. Mm. You get me? I just keep it on a basis for the people at the moment. So what? What? Talk, so you see this sugar thing, yeah? Yeah. There's a conversation I've heard everyone had about how sh bad sugar actually is. Mm. So how much lack you shed, and how bad sugar is. For the, obviously, it's obvious. Like we know from young, yeah. sugar is bad for your teeth. It's bad for your body, right? Etc. Et but yeah. I feel like people don't understand how deep it actually goes in it. This is my opinion. In my opinion, sugar is just as bad. In fact. Some scientists say it's eight times more addictive than crap cocaine. With sugar, or back to what I was saying, with sugar, I feel like that's worse than certain drugs out there at the moment. Like alcohol, it's on the same level to me. So anyone that's serving sugar to me, there is a difference between them and a drug dealer because they don't know what they're doing. But for those that know they're serving sugar and it causes these diseases, it's, there's no difference to me because everyone wants to focus on drug dealers and because they're selling crack and heroin and all these kind of things. But what's really going on in these supermarkets is causing diseases and more illnesses than these so-called drugs do. Do you get what so I'm trying to say? What disease is sugar causing? Cancer. It's one of the biggest causes of cancer. Mm. The World Health Organization will tell you that. They put it in our faces. Mm. They actually put it in our faces like they put it in our face on a box of cigarettes, smoking kills. I'll be honest with you, I eat one meal a day, bro. Like, my food's not really like some, it's not really like food, like how you say food. It's not really something that I think about. It's just nourishment. So I'd probably have some chickpeas with red onion. Chickpeas? Chickpeas, that's what I eat majority Ew, of the time. bro, that is disgusting. You don't eat chickpeas? I what about mushrooms? Mushrooms, I can do mushrooms. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mushrooms. With steak, though. Really, what? With steak. No, no, come on, brother. You're what talking you about red meat. And, uh, me, mushrooms, I eat them like, that's my replacement for meat. So you know how you're saying you're having it with steak? That's my replacement for meat. How can mushroom replace meat? Of course it can. How? Explain. How can it not? The same way you was seasoning your meat, I can season my mushroom with natural seasoning and natural. Yeah, but I don't fill you with meat, though. Lava. But I'm never. <laughs> you're never supposed to be full. This is the whole point of like you're never what supposed you to be full. So you want to be hungry too fast? No, it's not about being hungry, bro. It's just about self control. You're not actually hungry just because you might feel something. You don't mean you're hungry. You've got to control your mind, your thoughts, everything, bro. Just how can you say you're hungry? If you've at a steak now in this morning. 
by the night time you can't tell me you're hungry that doesn't make no sense you need to, that means you need to detox your system because i eat once so a day so what am i so what am i if i'm not hungry what am i you're greedy yeah i say it's greedy because one meal a day is sufficient for the human body for me for, for me speaking from my perspective and i've been 16 and a half stone i've been breathitarian i've been fruitarian you've been what i've been breathitarian what does that mean though where I, I went seven days of just breathing. Obviously, but I didn't consume no water or food, so I was practicing my breathing. So you just breathe. But how does breathing like, fill you up, though? Because it's a spiritual, it's spiritual. This is spiritual, your food's supposed to be spiritual. And um, I done fruitarian as well, that's another thing that I've done. that's just eating fruit only. Yeah. Even, that's brazy, though. You yeah, mean? that was that was a difficult fast, though. That was a difficult fast. The hardest thing I've ever done in my life, actually. Just fruitarian? Yeah, For yeah. how long, seven days? 120 days. <laughs> Where you go, coach? Reason, man. Yeah. Are you a dare, bro? Nah. Are like you just eating fruit, bro? What do you mean? How am I eating fruit? Just fruit. Just fruit. For 120 bro. days. Naturally. That what's that? Four months. Yeah. You know how powerful you are. You don't even know your power so within how, you. So what changed after the four months of fruit? Oh, that my life changed after that. That's like, that was the best thing I done because. In what sense? In what sense? You know things like desires, like things like women, sexual yeah. pleasures. Yeah. I just got that on box. Like it just, a girl can like whatever she wants to try and do and whatever whatever to tempt me, I can control myself to different degrees. And you think that's because of fruit? Hundred percent, it's because of the detox that I done. Because you don't understand what it's like when you're starving and you got nothing in your body. The fruit's cold. You don't even enjoy it anymore, and you just have to breathe and just control it. And you got these pains coming from your chest, coming from your throat, coming through your ears, your head, your Bro, nose. I don't think that's supposed to happen. So no, 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 no. Maybe it's not supposed to happen, but what's not supposed to happen either is me growing up eating, like I said, cereal for breakfast and King's Mill bread for breakfast and all these things. So I owe that to my body to detox the crap that the system and everyone else has been feeding me through the school, through whatever. Yeah, but Anything I'm saying, how, how many meals would you have a day, in a day? It ranges between zero and seven still. What do you mean zero and seven? Like there's days where I don't eat, there's days where I eat too much. There's no, there's no in between. So where'd you find the balance there then? I don't. So. Yeah, there was one time here yeah, where I felt like I was gonna die. My belly was finished. Why? Like why, 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 two, what, what I don't know, bro. For like two weeks straight, bro, my belly was just. I had to go hospital and everything. They, they didn't know. They just gave me like these tablets. Yeah, they Naturally said it. Cold. They said it was for my intestines. Like my bowel movement was restricted and stuff like that. Because you plugged up your system and it. So I literally just. I didn't eat, bro. I didn't eat. I literally done like, what the fast like you said. I done like a fruit fast for like four days. And I felt better still. But you done a fruit first? Yeah. What fruits did you have? Um Haribo's <laughs> What the the what the strawberry <laughs> thing? Well, strawberry, yeah, that's fruit. Yeah, bro. yeah. Come on bro, you need to respect the most highest fruits better than that. Come on, what fruits. you got in there for? Right, you got some fruits. Oh yeah, bro. naturally blueberries I can work with them. We well, like blueberries, but yeah. you're sure they're not the processed. Nah, these are good man. Oh, no, no, no. It's acidic, huh? bro. I don't I don't consume lemons. It's acidic. It's acidic, bro. I don't consume acidic thing, it's man made, bro. Lemons are man-made? Man-made, bro. So they're not grown naturally? No, not real or natural, bro. So they're printed? 3D printed? <laughs> Basic. No, Oranges? No, no. Seedless fruits, bro. I don't consume... You know, I heard, I heard about the seedless fruits. I come on, eat, come on. Well, like, I don't eat no fruit that got seed in it. Because you know what it is, bro? Who, who took I the seed that. out? <laughs> Big man, who took it's the true, seed out? It's true, it's true, it's true. When it's you true. grow a fruit, it's meant to have a seed in it. What? So where's the seed gone, bro? What? Who taught you that? Bro, it's common sense. Like, one day I ate uh... a grape, yeah. I said to myself, like, right, like who took it out, bro? So ever since then, I said, fuck, I'm only eating fruit with seed in it. And you know you can't even get seeded grapes from the supermarkets nowadays as That's well. what I'm saying. Everything's seeded, seeded, seeded. Seed 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 what else you got in the bag? Apples. Surely apples, I can't. Me, personally, I don't eat apples because there's over 150 different variations of apple in this day and age, so we don't even know which is the righteous one. But when I do go to Jamaica, there is a rose apple, which is natural, and it grows naturally, so I do take that. So what about like an apple tree, though? Like, you, you it doesn't not... matter if something says an apple tree or like a lemon tree because you got to understand, these people have chemically broken things down. For example, like wild rice. Let me give you an example. Wild rice, that grows naturally. But they've bred and breeded and processed wild rice to make white rice and brown rice. And then everyone thinks, oh, because it grows out the ground, it's natural. But they've processed this through farming. Places like Nigeria, where you got cassava and everyone thinks cassava is natural. It's not natural. Surely this can be calm. Surely. No, calm. Strawberries. No. What? I don't care. What's wrong with strawberries, bro? Nah, bro. They're How come I not have beef with strawberries? Obviously, everyone enjoys a strawberry. Edit, but obviously, that's me. I, I, it's better I than a lot of have one, bro. You? You, bro. Come on, bro, man. You're not, I, you need to respect my thing, bro. bro come on, bro. bro it's one, bro. You're gonna, you think you're going to go and entice me? You think it's going to kill you? You think you're going to entice it's me? It's not going to kill you, bro. Come it's on, a strawberry, bro. Man. Do better than that, bro. See, bro. Yes. I should do better. I said that. Do better, bro. Now, but obviously, if you want to indulge, have a strawberry, man. If you're not having one, I'm not having one. So, what, yeah, I'm what I'm on? 
for now, for this stream, okay, You know what you do? Do the rest of the 20 days with me. We'll go insta live with each other. I challenge you. We'll go insta live with each other. You do the rest of my birthday days with me. 100 every day, 100 press ups and 100 abs. I say we just regime that. What are you saying? You're going to get in the nays? Alright, Broski. <laughs> Good luck in it. You're on your own. Alright. Surely. Look at that. Done the kebab. <laughs> Chicken wing. Bro, biryani. Give me that on my face, bro. Please. Why not, bro? I'm good, you know. Obviously, that's your regime. Just what grab you one, like to bro. Consume, it? So, what's wrong with this, though? If it's not me, bro, I Why, what's wrong with you? This man's looking disgusted. Why you look so disgusted, bro? I told you what this food is, bro. I told you it's like you're not listening. Preservatives. I've told you about the processed rice and you're putting biryani in faces. Come on, act, man. <laughs> bro, you're just pulling Why, pure man? rice and meat out the bag, bro. You ain't showing me nothing, right? Alright, last one, last one, last one, last one, last one, last one. Last one. Come on, barbecue wings, man. Bro, obviously that's your regime and I respect your thing to a certain degree, but Fair, I don't strong. respect those things there anyway. Fair. 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 I respect it. I might show a bit only per meat and rice and all these things. And obviously, I've met the taxi man, took my shahada, and ever since, bro, just obviously Islam implemented more discipline into my life, and I just practice it. You get what I'm trying to say? So, what did the taxi man say to you that resonated with you? You know what it was? It wasn't even what he said. It was the silence, bro. It was him actually listening to me. Whereas through school, I've always had arguments with Muslims about this and about that, and going back and forth and this guy was just listening to what I'm saying and I'm dissing him up you know what I'm saying yeah you're women and how you got them cheating and I'm an outspoken person I'm just saying what my dad's taught me throughout my life and the boss man's not even switching his hearing everything I'm saying but normally you know how the Aki brothers move they're gonna step up for them he's just easing himself and hearing me out so then I finished speaking dissing him up and the brother's just gone to me and broke certain things down and I'm trying to I'm trying to talk over him and be rude and He's letting me speak again and easing himself. This time he's turned off his taxi machine, you know. Mm. He's dropped me off at my destination. He's turned off his machine. Mm. Guy, he wants to give me this reasoning. Mm. Two twos, I've said two things to him. He's broke certain things down. And I don't want to believe him, you know. I'm getting goosebumps. I don't even want to believe him. Mm. And then a feeling come over me. Mm. Uh, a genuine feeling. And I'm not even into all that stuff, but it did happen. Mm. Come over me. I didn't want to be a Muslim. Yeah. i got no reason to want to get down and pray five times a day. Mm. Uh, well, I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not flexing like that. That's not me. Then after I spoke to him two days later, bro, I took my shahada and ever since, bro, it's been five dailies, just naturally. Swear down. Naturally, bro. So in that two days, like, what was going through your mind? Were you, like, hesitant? Were I'm you, thinking, like, oh, why am I feeling like this? Like, what's going on? Nah, this ain't me. This ain't me. You know your thing already. I'm saying all that to myself. The feeling's just not going nowhere. Mm. And when I took my shahada, the feeling went and I'm just, I'm just feeling different, like, I can't even explain how you feel within like uh, you'd have to take your sh are you was you born Muslim? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It's different. As a revert, when you take your shahada, it's just a different feeling. Mm. Like you just feel different. Obviously, my mom was easy about it, but my dad obviously is he's not into all of that stuff at all. So it's a religion at all. He's on a most high thing. He just pushes the most high. He's never really been on he's an Israelite now, but back then he was more on well, Jewish. No, Ju Jewish is like those who wish they were Jews, that's why it's called Jewish. Jews means Jews, like the Jews. We are the original Jews. So, for example, the original Jews are the Israelites. Okay. That's that's their belief. Children of Israel. Huh? Yeah, yeah, children of Israel. But the Jewish people are the ones that we see today. You get me in, in over there and doing whatever they're doing. But they, they wish they were Jews. That's where they were Jewish come from. You know, Israel, man. They got a lot of history. A lot, a lot of history, man. Free Palestine, though. Every single time, man. It's in the Most High's hands. That so, like, what there. kind of education? Like, you still partake in any education? Yeah, I just study, I study health at the moment. Mm. Like natural nutrition though, like not something that you go to university to learn. Like I go to the wild, like I go to Jamaica and see what grows wild. And I like to practice things like, you know, when I said to you, like I do um, breathitarian like, and fruitarian and pescatarian and all these different things that I've done is because I don't want to listen to what someone else says. Mm. I want to go and experience yeah, 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 it for yeah, myself. Yeah. So when I speak- You're basically treating yourself like a lab rat. Yeah, I have to, I have to, because everyone can talk something and make it sound good because words is very powerful oh. and people are very, can make you believe something so I like to practice something so it's just there and prep I like to call myself a practitioner mm. yeah so you practice what you preach in fact you practice before you preach yeah 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 practice before I preach have to have to mm. some sort of clash between obviously you're Muslim now isn't it yeah do you ever find some sort of clash between like what you believe in religiously and like what you practice health wise or not really yeah you get you get clashes people come and question me say you know you're supposed to eat meat the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam like he was eating meat and a lot of people say a lot of things to me, but like I say, I'm on my journey through life. Yeah. Like they can say I, I should be eating meat or whatever they're gonna say, but yeah. if I told them what, what that white rice was made by a satanic man and he done all his 
blessings over it and all these different things they do over Starful the fruit. Life. No, but no, but this is a real thing that they do though. Mm. If we're gonna get into that, this is what they do. They do satanic things over the food. How do you know? I can show you proof of things. I can what? show you videos. Show I can me, show, me, show me. We're gonna have to watch something. The four letter cabal on YouTube. No, it's not even. This is the thing. It's not even on YouTube. Bro. If I put the four letter cabal on that, yeah, it's gonna go. Four of the what? The four letter cabal, bro. It's just it's on a what? deeper on what? thing, on bro. It's not even on What's YouTube, on? bro. YouTube, bro. Next video. U G E. U G E. It's a deeper. T We're not ever gonna give them that, cause that's yes. deeper. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. That one right there. Yeah. It's a sugar in the Quran. It's not sugar in the Quran. No, it doesn't say because the, the Quran's not a dietary book, so it wasn't written about dietary, but. If you look into depths in the Quran that I have, we're supposed to look after our temple. And taking care of my temple is eating the righteous products that the Most High ordained. Mm. In my opinion, that's just my opinion, you know what I mean? mean it? It's, it's deep, deep bro. Bro, deep, man bro. had a whole new version of YouTube, bro. <laughs> Come and see it, bro. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, bro, because they deleted right. it off Google. So how did you find it? How did you find YouTube? It's, it's something that I was researching and looking into. Yeah, what these it? people are really up to. Like, what are they doing in this world? Why is it so corrupt? <laughs> And you just came across YouTube. That's it's crazy. Not, it's not how I came across it, bro. It's that I was searching for these things. I wanted for the truth. answers, searching and for the I, got truth. The, I got the truth. That's all it's about is the truth, you know. So what is the truth? The truth. In life. Righteousness. Love, light, peace. That's the truth. That's crazy stuff. I can't lie. To I don't think I ever met someone like you before. Man said he went 120 days and he only ate food. Yeah, that's just natural, man. So what, like? So what do your shit look like then? Man. <laughs> that's a good question. No, that's a rather good question. Did you because obviously, shit? Of course I do, bro. I go to the toilet about four or five times a day. But you only, bro, what do you mean? You eat chickpeas. How are you shitting four or five times a well, day? Well, you got to remember, bro, the body has to reset itself. So I'm detoxing my body. So what are you time. shitting out? Your organs, bro. Come on, bro. You know what? Think about all the food that I've had over the 20 years that I've 24 Yeah, but years you're saying living. you only eat one bowl of chickpeas every day. It doesn't matter, bro. Think about the 20, 20 years that I was eating garbage. You think that's going to go over the space of a couple yeah, but of years? Surely that's gone by now, though. I'd like to think so, but I'd like to say that, you know, there still might be some there. There still could be garbage there. So you how, never. But how are you shitting four or five times a day? Because I eat a lot. Like, like, this grape juice got a lot of fiber in it. Fiber makes you go to the toilet. So when you're consuming a lot of fiber, you're going to go to the toilet more. I'd go to the toilet more than you on my diet because it's fruit and veg. I don't go to the toilet, though. So what do you do? What do you want to do? So what do you do then if you don't go to the toilet? I just don't go to the toilet. Something's wrong with you then, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I know. Big man thing. Something you definitely. You have to sort that out, bro. So do you drink water? Of course I do. How much? In a day, yeah. really and truly, if I be honest with you, I know it's gonna sound a bit extreme, but I like to eat my water because that's H three O two chemical. I don't want to get too deep, but it's, I'm just being honest with you. I'm just being honest with you. Though. That's just truthful. That's just me being truthful. That's just me being honest, bro. Bro, serious, bro. I have to be honest with you. It's the truth that I'm pushing. You see Birmingham, bro. I've never seen a seal like that in my life. Serious, bro. Niggas are eating war and bro. What do you mean you're ah? Yeah. What do you mean you're eating water, G? Like I eat a watermelon, bro, and watermelon's ninety-one percent water. So when I'm eating it, I'm consuming. So you don't actually drink water. Obviously, I will drink water, but I'd more prefer to eat my water, like rather than get a drink of water. If I got fruits there, I beat my fruits and I'm hydrated because watermelon high fruits. When I say, that's my lingo, I beat my fruits like I yam my fruits. It's true, it's true, it's true. Yeah, but anyway, like you were saying. Ooh. Ah! Smell it, just smell it. Just smell it. Bro, what's wrong with this geezer, bro? Oh, I was even trying to do that as well, but yo, you got to the reason with them? Oh, they're looking fat, bro. So break, so break down to me. What, what's, what's they so stink, bad? What's so, stink. so what's so bad about this? Like, what's, it, what's it gonna do to me? Break it down to me. They stink, bro. But just break it down, like the psychology is the why this is so bad for humans. Bro, do you know what that is? Do you even know what you could? Where did that? Where did you get them from? Where did you get this from? Where did you get, some chicken shop. Some chicken shop. Yeah. What? Where did the chicken shop get their meat from? Where did the chicken shop get their meat from? <laughs> you don't know, still. <laughs> And then they're just frying it in vegetable oil, innit? Yeah, but vegetables are good, though, no? Vegetables don't extract oil, bro. So how's the vegetable oil? You, you, that's the question you need to ask them. I've got the same question for them as well. So you don't eat, when the last time you had a win? Probably about five years ago, you know, five, six years ago. And you've never craved one since? Nah, nah, nah. Probably, probably about four, three years ago, but not anymore. Right, one, man, two, four, man knocked over the camera. So, like, what's it going to do to me? Bro. 
come on bro like this isn't really come on bro respect me a bit bro we're trying to reason eating food and like, obviously we had iftar earlier in it like we're reasoning now in it it's so a what? bigger thing Kind of Come on, bro. Man. Tired anyway, bro. Look at look at your hands. You're knackered. Man. Knackered. That's what I'm saying. I think you've got to me, so. Yeah, naturally. Ew. That's what I was doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> you were there, disgusting. What the hell? I said, just get the springers. Just di- digest that with some springers. You know what I mean? I need a general juice, man. F that. What, you want a mango? I don't even like mango. That's even mango's even lava as well. Great. Why do you mean you don't like mango? I hate mango. It's too sweet. Put the meat. They're kicking up the What's meat with their wellies. What's this? Brother, what? Like, you know what? I can't even take you serious again, bro. bro you're it? a mad thing. What food. burger is this? Forget all you, your burger and fries and all that. Ew, man. I don't, even, I don't eat What's fries. What's that? All that Algerian sauce and all that? I, I know everyone loves that Algerian yeah, one, innit? It's burger sauce, burger sauce. Yeah. I can't, I don't, I don't eat chips, though. You don't eat chips? No. So tell me what you eat, then I'm trying to find out what you eat. Bro. You eat home-cooked food? Yeah, yeah, I eat African food. I eat a lot of African food, so. Tell me what you want, tell me. Pane jam. You know pane jam? I eat a goosey stew. I don't know what that is. Let me Google it for you. I eat jollof rice. Jollof rice. Well, eat... you know what jollof rice. Master, what are you talking about? Well, you know what jollof no, rice. You're Jamaican talking to a Nigerian. Eh? What does that mean? I'm not, I know about jollof rice, bro. Okay. What do you do? Do you make like... jollof rice? Yeah, of course I can make it. How do you make jollof rice? Gee, at the end of the day, bro, you gotta get the. What's that sauce called again? The tomato sauce, you get the rice, you mix it. So okay, okay. So well, what about your flavorings, your onions, and your yeah, peppers? Come on, bro, that's yeah. a bit basic. Yeah, I'm talking about the foundation. That's the foundation. Come on, man, yeah, for the, the Nigerian, you should be telling me, like, yo, we cook. whip it like this and we season it like this and we crazy my thing like that. And this um, Uncle Eddie guy all over TikTok. Yeah. Uncle Eddie. Yeah. Eddie Abu. Well, you're not writing his thing. Obviously, a lot of what he pushes, like, I agree with, I agree with a lot of what he says, but obviously, I don't think he's ever tapped into certain depths that I've tapped into to know certain things. So, and the knowledge that he has, he's probably talking the right thing that he thinks right, but I've gone a lot deeper than him and I've got put my body through a lot more. So I know what I'm talking about in certain aspects. So when he's telling people to eat white rice and stuff like feta cheese and stuff like, that's just garbage to me. I'll be mm. truthful with you. It's just garbage. White rice is garbage to you? Yeah, white rice is garbage. White rice is starch. Starch turns into sugar. Sugar causes diseases in the body. White rice is on well, isn't there natural sugars in everything, in most things? Like what? A, na- a natural sugars in your grape juice, that's fructose. That's a natural sugar. Yeah. Yeah. The sugar that they're giving you is glucose. It's not good for the body, the way the body breaks it down. But your body the- produces glucose naturally anyway, though. No, but what I'm trying to say to you is the chemical balance of when they heat it up, they have to heat it up. When you heat up anything, it changes the chemical balance. Yeah. That is not right for our human body to consume. That's why sugar... Why do you think the doctor says to you, don't have too much sugar with your diabetes? Be careful with your sugar because they know the sugar that they're giving you is toxic. When I give people these fruit juices, I say to someone, you can drink 10 of them if you want. Obviously, you just you have a balance in everything, but I don't have to be careful and say, oh, be careful of this, be careful of that. Or when they give you prescriptions, they say, oh, side effects this. There's no side effects to my juices. So when Eddie talks about eating all the eggs and that, you know what I mean? Obviously, me personally, bro, I don't eat no eggs and I'm, I, can do, I can do anything. I can, I'm physically strong, I'm mentally strong, and I'm spiritually strong, and I don't eat no eggs, bro. Mm-hmm. And he's telling people that they need to eat eggs to do these things mm-hmm. and be in the gym and push these weights. But I can probably get in the gym with a lot of man that would consider himself um, one more whatever and push if not same weight like just probably under them so to me i don't need to eat eggs and i eat fruit and veg mm. and it's just more safer to eat in this day and age for me so what's your opinion on cmos cmos come on bro that's the real deal blows not steel bro like come on the mossington deans like that's the real thing bro that's the truth that's the dr zebi original dealings bro so why, don't, why don't you eat it who you who don't eat cmos i asked you what you eat you never mentioned no but this is what i'm saying to you that's a different kind of that's a different kind of dealing see must now because of the diet that i'm on i'm only on it for about one week out the month because obviously what it does to my body and i ain't got a righteous woman to you know what i mean so obviously i just have to keep my little distance from it well, the does to, it powers me up certain ways it rather does power me up certain ways i'm not gonna lie to you so i'm only on it for like one week out the month so how do you deal with like not like obviously you said you're not dealing with no woman. Yeah, When's yeah, the yeah. last time you had any sort of relationship with a woman? I couldn't even tell you, bro. That's what I, I genuinely couldn't tell you. I don't count it. I don't think about it. I just keep going day it's by been day. Time. Yeah, bro. I've done time. Yes. Bro. I've done semen retention for like eleven months before. I've done. Fair I've done much. time, bro. I've done time, bro. And obviously, sometimes man does fall short. Not afraid to say it, but yeah. man just tries to stay strong on man's things. Still, you get me. It's discipline. What, what, what benefits do you gain from the semen retention? You're just more of a man. 
you're more of a man, you live in your power, you live in your purpose. Yeah. That's what they want to do, it's their choice, their life. You get me? I'm not here to judge nobody at the end of the day. Joseph said I can see the testosterone on him. What? <laughs> Brother, why did I even read that out? <laughs> Wallahi, I was thinking to quit sugar, but it's too hard. Nah, man, th- don't tell yourself something's too hard, man. You have to believe in you. So, so okay, so let me ask you this thing. You see all the research you've been doing into like, the food and health industry, and like, what's the maddest thing you found out, like, the maddest conspiracy you found out? That's definitely true, like foolproof. Proof. That these meats that we actually consume cause diseases in the body. Like it's actually something, not that, this is away from me, the World Health Organization tell you that meats, processed food and cigarettes causes diseases in the body. They will tell you that, you can go and just research the World Health Organization and they tell you that, do you get what I'm trying to say? Because obviously they don't leave meats naturally, they inject meats, chickens are growing at a rate that they never used to grow. Chickens take, if you go back home, chickens take longer to grow, they nurture them different, now they're force breeding them to make more money. Because everything's about money for them, innit? <clears throat> That's why I don't really raise you my lifestyle about money even though we all need it to survive it's passion over profit all the time mm, for me mm, mm, <coughs> mm. Hmm? that's your guy what do you mean? like you rate him more than rate him bro that's like he's what? a different kind of being but what's i gonna say different. though like um so you think they killed him yeah, yeah i do i think they killed him nah, i agree the death will kill him the hacks are oh, you know about dr zibby Bro, come on, act, man. You think I'm an idiot? Nah, I don't think you're an idiot. Think I'm an idiot I don't think you're an idiot, but obviously, uh, tell me what you know, then tell me what you know, innit? Bro, he found a cure for cancer and they killed him. Oh, uh, touch me, touch me. Lava, lava. See, you know about two things, calm down. You know I about two, two things, innit? You know about two things. Bro, I'm a smart guy, you know. You think I'm dumb, like, you think I'm dumb, innit? Honestly. No, I genuinely don't think you're dumb. You wouldn't have your own thing going on like this if you were dumb. Come on. Ask him, seven day darkness and silence retreat. What's that? Seven day darkness and silence retreat. That's what that's what I'm gonna do next as well. Still, the silent retreat. I'm just gonna do seven days of straight silence. Oh, I seen that on TikTok the other day. Yeah, I'm just gonna not talk. Yeah, I'm not talking. That's after this burpees, bro. That's my next regime. Seven days of no talking. I seen that on TikTok. A man didn't speak for like I think he said like thirty days. Why are you laughing, bro? I see a man say yeah. Which one? Oh yeah, we need the room. Yeah, that's light, oh bro. That's light on TikTok, yeah. I, s- <laughs> I man's laughing, bro. Silent fox is brazy. That turns you insane, you know. Bro, I see a man. Bro, I see a man on TikTok. Yeah, he said he done a thirty day silence thing. He said he said he started hearing voices from his childhood and that. It's deep, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's spiritual, bro. It's deeper, bro. That's what I'm saying. You have to be ready to tap in. Cause if you're tapping, you can't even tap out certain times. Cause you lose it. Silence retreat is brazy. Yeah, that's what you know what we're gonna do after we mash up the burpees we're gonna take that on as well that's what we're gonna, I'm gonna do. do content if i'm on a silent retreat obviously it's just seven days in it obviously you're just working on yourself differently you can come back to your content can you do silent what do you say you can i no, no, no. that's something i consider that's something yeah, i consider bro, how am i gonna learn sign language in seven days bro? no but you can just say you know like i want that or you get me certain things you'll be able to say without saying you're gonna eat yeah, you know what? That's a good question. I might just do a fruit fast with it as well, and just get even more into it as well. Just, just tap in, man. Serious. Bro, I can't lie. You're a different man, still. I respect you, though. Me, what supplements does he recommend? I feel like you said that already. Yeah, I don't. I don't. All them supplements in the in the shops like vitamins D and C. I don't take none of that stuff. Just natural things like sea moss and that. That's the main supplement that I take, bro. They're saying the general is a glitch in the matrix. They think you're a glitch, bro. You say you're not real. <laughs> bro, I'm not no glitch, bro. So, like, it's just this is just the real deal, bro. Flow is not steel, bro. Huh? Serious. Watch TV. Yeah, that's what I, I, was, I was asking. You said you only watches Dr. Zebi documentaries. Bro. Nah, not only. I don't, but I don't have a TV in my gaff. There's no TV in my house. That's just me being honest with you. There's no TV in my house. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. What do you mean there's no TV in your house? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say, bro? bro why is there no TV in your house? Because I just don't consume it, bro. I don't, there's no TV in my house, innit? So you don't know to watch the news? No, the news. That's the last thing I'd be watching. <laughs> why do you want to watch the news? So so when you watch your documentary, when you watch it on a tablet? I've just got my iPad in it. <laughs> <laughs> why are you laughing? got my iPad. But don't get it twisted. When I lick the man, then oh, we watch some football yeah. and that and stuff like that. But oh, when yeah, I'm on so my own, football. yeah, I watch football. When I'm on my own, oh, so you're though. normal then, bro? <laughs> what is normal, like you said? What yeah, is true, normal? True. Boxing, MMA. 
Nah, obviously I could. I'm gonna lie. When I saw you, the first thing I thought you like you could whack someone off. I can't lie. Nah, not into no whacking no one up thing, bro. Like that's not no. <laughs> not on a G thing though, because you see like a man that tall and lean, they're the most dangerous man. Bro. Nah, I hear what you're saying, yeah, bro. Too. But it's it's not really about whacking man up and up for me. Obviously, if it gets physical, then it has to get what it has to get. Oh, but why, why are you looking at me saying that? Nah, I'm just saying. Obviously, <laughs> but it's just one of them things, isn't it? But I never want it to get physical, and I do whatever I can to leave it. Whether mm-hmm. that may have to be a, dropping my pride or whatever it be, I don't want. If you had to, though, you was knocking man out. Of course, bro. I gotta protect me. If you get me scared and intimidated, then I'm gonna have to unleash what I'm gonna have to unleash. But I feel like everyone in Birmingham can fight, don't it? <laughs> nah, bro. You'd be surprised, you know. So I don't think many people can fight still, to be honest. Mm, 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 mm. But you don't do any, you've never done any like. No, I've done boxing, sport. I've done boxing oh, yeah. that before. Yeah, I've done boxing and that before. Still. Mm. Not at no level like where I've boxed yeah, and yeah, got in the ring, but I've just, as a fitness thing, I've done boxing still. Mm. 